What's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another movie reaction. Now, you guys are awesome. Seriously, you guys are awesome. I keep saying that in every video because every single... <laughs> Every single day, I am shocked by the support that you guys are giving, and I just can't thank you enough. So I'm going to keep thanking you. So thank you. Today, we're going to be watching Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive? But you know what I'm saying. We're going to be watching Mulholland Drive or Mulholland Drive. Now, this was voted for and won on the Patreon poll. So that is pretty cool. Thank you guys for voting. And thank you to the Patreon supporters that are out there participating and also giving a little bit more extra love. I definitely appreciate that. It really helps out a lot. You know, just in case if you guys have forgotten, I am making this YouTube channel to primarily educate not only myself, but others and what I know about filmmaking. And also you guys can educate me me through um through the comments of filmmaking and through your knowledge of films that you know and uh you know all the fun facts that you guys have been doing which has been phenomenal by the way thank you so much for everyone who's been commenting suggesting all that good stuff it's been incredible but without further ado i'm not going to waste too much time now because i'm excited to get into this this is a first time reaction to this movie so everything is going to be just kind of right off the top i'm gonna let things go and without further ado we're gonna be watching Mulholland drive David Lynch. So you know it's gonna be a long ass movie. This is a trippy experience already. What a way to open it. Unique uh, editing style, that's for sure. It's quite an intro right there. Oh, wow. What are you doing? We don't stop here. Get out of the car. Oh, well, you stop here now. Um, what? 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 <laughs> what are these sequence of events right now? What was just happening? The movie hasn't even started technically, and I already am filled with all these questions. They've been doing a whole lot of first-person camera movements as of lately. That's pretty interesting. So you don't want to go to a hospital or call the cops? Just, you know, normal things? I'm loving these crossfades. Crossfade, for those of you who don't know, um, it's kind of like a dissolve and, you know, you're fading into the next picture. It can be a simple editing transition, but if done really well or if the editor's, you know, going for a more intentional approach that fits the art form, it can be used as a great way to simulate a really cool transitioning. Editing has a lot of power. Never underestimate that. Crossfading can be a powerful tool to guide the viewers and maybe stitch together two pieces of information that you probably wouldn't have gathered if you just did a simple cut. What is her story? What's going on? Why is she hiding? Why was she about to get shot? Why is she not going to a hospital? Why is she sleeping in the weirdest places ever? So you had a dream about this place. Look at this camera angle right now. I wonder why it's floating behind the characters. Well, that's really interesting. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Usually the camera's stationary um, when you're doing like these dialogue scenes, but this is floating between the characters. That's interesting. I love that. I'm really loving how unconventional this is right now with the camera angles and everything. Makes for a really interesting experience. Oh my god! <laughs> that genuinely terrified. <laughs> that genuinely scared me. Oh my god. <laughs> that sucked. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. That was terrifying. Only David Lynch can make a corner 
behind a restaurant. Terrifying. What the hell was that? Such an awesome camera movement right there. Like, storytelling, man. I'm telling you, have fun with your film. Have fun with your film. Do creative things. Try unique ways of storytelling. Take time, just try new ways of framing. I guarantee you it makes for a much more enjoyable experience. <laughs> that was definitely me when I came to Los Angeles. Oh, wow. Where to? 1612 Havenhurst. It feels like a dream. That was, that was, that felt like a dream. I don't know why. What? What the heck was that? What is this movie, man? What the heck? Wait, was that the place where the girl was hiding? Because I remember that table. Oh my, I'm sorry. My Aunt Ruth didn't tell me someone was going to be here. I understand. I saw the dress. You're taking this very well. <laughs> um, you just found a stranger in your aunt's place. See? Just like that. I think that was more of a dissolve, though. But you get... The thing that I was saying with editing. You are being too nice of a guest to this person. That's just me, though. My humble opinion. I'd be calling the cops. Because <laughs> what the heck are you doing in my aunt's house? What's the photo for? On espresso. No, this is such a weird meeting. This is the weirdest meeting I've ever seen. What is... What, you guys are weird. All right, take care of this. Hold on. Hold on, Adam. Hold on? There's no way. There's no way. Why does... What's the conflict here? What's going on? Come on, man. You didn't have to do that. That was a highly recommended. That is considered one of the finest espressos in the Wait world. What sir. is going on here? There is no way that girl is in my mouth. What is happening? <laughs> what the? It's not long for your film. Uh oh. That's the worst thing you can say to a director. Castigliani brothers. Beat it, pal. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. You know, judging by his outfit, I was like, ah, he probably might not be with it. He's very with it. He just, <laughs> okay. He just pulled The Last of Us Part Two. If you know, you know. History of the world and phone numbers. What the f <laughs> <laughs> That sounded like R2-D2. Bruh, what, what, what are these events that are unfolding right now? This guy's like the worst hitman of all time. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. At this point, you might as well just shoot yourself, man. What was that entire scene right there? What, what, what just happened? I don't know who I am. What do you mean? Oh. No, I'm not. I don't know what my name is. Wow, that car accident really messed her up. Well, that's why she was acting like that. Jesus. That complicates a lot of things. Now you've done it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, he's going to lose his mind. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, okay, you want to play that game? Gotcha. Stop it! Stop it! Well deserved. Don't cheat. You're me! <laughs> Dog, who is this guy? Maybe it happened so late it's not in today's paper. 
There's nothing. They probably erased it. They probably acting like nothing ever happened. I don't know what this group is, but that looks similar to that place looks similar to the beginning of the film where those two characters ate at. Who the heck is this big chunga? What is happening? <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> uh, I, I got enough cash. I know. I know. Don't worry. They know where you are. Oh, man. Damn. Do you know somebody called the cowboy? The cowboy? I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, for Christ's sake, his name is the Cowboy. I'm in this buggy, and if you fix your attitude, you can ride along with me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I want you to go back to work Jesus. tomorrow. When you see the girl that was shown to you earlier today, you will say, this is the girl. What is going on with this lead girl? Why do they want to create this movie? Who are these people behind the scenes? Now we want to take you across and introduce you to a director who's a head above the rest. He's got a project you will kill. Park right out of the park. There you go. There you go. Does Hollywood work that way? Uh, I think that's like for another video. If you guys are interested, that is. Uh, to kind of hear my experiences and current experiences with Hollywood and that beautiful journey of chaos. It's great though. No one home, I guess. guess she got to break it. Oh, y'all actually trying to. I was just kidding. I right, guess we're breaking in. Oh, so I'm pretty sure she's dead. Whoa. Oh, I was not ready for that imagery. Whoa, that's dark. Whoa. Silencio. What? Silencio. Oh, that's creepy. What the heck? Whoa. I wonder what's making those lights look like that. The editing in this has been, during these moments, have been just very uh, surreal. Very surreal. Like you're watching a movie at first and then these things happen and it's like, whew. it's like a psychedelic feeling, outer body feeling it. Wow. As I was just talking about that, I mean, you look at this shot. Wow. Hmm. I really like that. That was that was really cool. I like that. Wow. Look at this. That's that's beautiful. <laughs> Sorry guys if I'm not talking a lot I'm just kind of like Putting myself in the scene Because there's a lot of things that are happening right now That I have no idea about um, Which is again very good So I'm just kind of putting myself in the scene And kind of just experiencing And gathering my thoughts till after What is that? Okay, that was um, that was interesting. I'll tell you more about my thoughts about that and obviously this entire film as of now afterwards. But uh, yeah, so if you kind of want to get my thoughts, just wait till the reaction is done. I have a couple things I'd like to say. Ready? 
Betty? Yeah, where did she go? I don't want to say what I'm thinking right now, but I'll, I'll just wait. Okay, I'm going to say what I'm thinking. Was Betty there? Like, was Betty just a figment of her imagination? That was a cool tra camera. Camera movement right there. Wait. Huh? What? Did that box just suck them in? What? What happened? Any time. I'm just making sure, Diane. Okay, so... Because they, they look so similar. Isn't that the girl that was, you know, the one that was with Rita? <sighs> what? What is happening right now? Wait, what? Guys, what is happening? Go on. The car's right outside your house. 5980 Mulholland Drive. Hmm. So was it her that crashed and she forgot who she was? A surprise. Shortcut. You left the door open. That's just a tad bit rude. I won this jitterbug contest. That sort of led to acting. You know, wanting to act. Hmm, I see. And there's the cowboy. What the, <laughs> what the heck is going on? Did she make this up all in her imagination? Camila and I are going to be... <laughs> I'll just say it, dude. What the heck are you doing? This is the girl. Don't show me this fucking thing here. Wow. It's just an actress's photo resume. You got the money? Is she trying to get her whacked? For those of you out there who don't know what that means, it means get somebody killed. Wow. Okay. Things are now clicking. When it's finished, you'll find this where I told you. <sighs> Damn. Things are just clicking and clacking. Holy crap, there's that guy. <laughs> All right. I had one question. It was going to be this. It was going to be this scene because I didn't know what that whole thing was. I guess now we get to find out. What? 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 I just have more questions now. What the heck is going on? And that's all. Oh, that's how she died, bro. That's how she killed herself. She killed herself. But like, why were her, like, what's old people like her, her aunt and her granddad, like what? And then who is this? And that was Mulholland Drive. Holy crap. Okay, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, um, welcome back. Uh, we just got done finishing Mulholland Drive. There's a lot to say. There's a lot to say, but let me first start off by saying what I really admired uh, technically about this film. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to commend David Lynch, obviously, on the direction of it. I think he is one of those directors that has this incredible style that whether you love it or you don't love it, you got to respect it. And 
and I think it just comes down to his willing to just be different his willing to just be creative and tell a very different story and that's what I respect most and I think a lot of people get that kind of twisted they instead take a cookie cutter route and just want to tell a very simple story which is nothing wrong with that but if you want to let's say for instance be known for something or if you want to you know really have that artist integrity i guess being creative thinking outside of the box taking risk that's the way to do it being original and it you know people don't have to get it you know people don't have to love it but people can respect the fact that you told a story differently and that you took something that probably would have just been a simple idea, but you creatively told the story in your own original way. That right there, whether if it's good or bad, is commendable in my honest opinion. Now, let's get into my thoughts on this film. So, obviously, I love the cinematography, but what I really loved the most was the editing. I think the editing, uh, for me, stole the spotlight. I love the crossfades. I love those really incredible transitionings back and forth. Uh, storytelling through editing. Um, I think it really shined a light during this film, and I have to commend that. The cinematography, it was really good. I think that uh, some of the shots were just shot differently, and that gave a really different feeling. And I love that fact that they decided to take that risk. Um, the acting, I would say, like, the acting, I... It, it was it was weird like at some parts and I, again this isn't me bashing the film at all like this is just me giving my thoughts uh, at some parts it was really strange to me and then at some parts it was like wow this is serious okay um, whether or not that was purposefully done because of the whole story which I'm also gonna get into as well too or not then okay then obviously then yeah it was it was corny at some parts because you know the, the story made it corny in some parts but yeah it was, it was kind of like back and forth but when it was good it was phenomenal it was phenomenal acting all around when it was really good so my thoughts on the story um obviously this is my first time watching this so i don't have all the context i don't have all the clues all i knew about this was that you guys suggested it um I am definitely confused. I'm definitely confused. I still don't know what that homeless person was uh, and what they played a part in. I don't know what the old people were really about. Maybe that was her aunt and her grandpa, but why were they laughing maniacally? I have no idea. Um, you know, the whole situation with the, the guy shooting those people at the beginning and being like a terrible hitman what was that about you know I, I i have no idea i don't have the context to really go forth and put all of it together at once because my brain's kind of scrambled but um yeah i mean i have questions and i'm sure you guys are going to enlighten me on that so please this is your time to educate me in the comments below let me know what i'm missing what the clues i'm kind of you know missing out on what did i miss in terms of like sort of subtly what did i miss and all that good stuff so please educate me this is why i made this channel because i want to educate you guys and you guys can educate me henceforth when i you know go uh and make a film or go out and try to tell a story i am just that much better than before so those are my my thoughts again i could you know list more but i don't want this video to be like twenty thousand hours long so you know, I'll, I'll conversate more about this with you guys in the comments and, you know, you know, hash it out with you guys about my thoughts more uh, in detail. But I'm also going to look up videos analysis as well in my off time to kind of get a little bit more context about this story. But uh, overall, I think it was really good. I, I really do believe that it was a good film. I had a good time watching it. Granted, it was very confusing, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't a good time. I can see why some people would probably think, oh, yeah, uh, that was kind of weird. Uh, I don't really need to do it. Do I agree with it? Not really. I think art is there to be experienced, and therefore you should experience it. But that feeling is can be respected and i can respect people for having different opinions so with that being said guys i personally like this film 
yes, it was very confusing, but I do love the fact that it was told differently and that they went about it in a very creative way. That's always commendable in my opinion. So I'm happy that you guys stayed along. Get ready for some more movie reactions and TV show reactions. And like I said before, comment below and let me know what I've missed, what you guys want to talk about, suggestions, all that good stuff. Let's just have a good time, guys. Thank you again for the support. It's been phenomenal. I love all you guys. You guys are just awesome. Seriously, uh, pat yourself on the back because, you know, it's, it's dope that we have a really cool community together. So with that being said, guys, like always, have a good time live happily be healthy stay hydrated because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat